it's like you're closing out a chapter. And I wasn't serving you. Like you're gonna actually... Oh, excuse me. I just feel this so deeply. You're actually gonna pursue your happiness first. Because I feel like before... You were giving that to other people, or you were just giving people your kindness, and they took advantage of that. They took advantage of you. Some of you, some of my Pisces, you just, you just say, you know what? I give up on that love story. That's not for me. That's not, you know, you, you're going to ride out solo. Life changing. I'm hearing life changing, okay? Death and the tower. I have to be honest, and I'm not even being dramatic here. I don't like this energy that I'm saying. Six of cross watchers, you may relate to this. It looks to me like you're leaving. Oh, okay. You're leaving behind a, a Pisces, okay? Some of you may drop out of this reading. Hello, my beautiful Pisces. How are you guys? Welcome back to the channel. Starseed Zyde here. If you're new, please make sure to subscribe and join the Soul Tribe. We have a reading for you guys. This is your general predictions reading for December 2022. Why did I say 2022? Oh, I'm channeling. I'm going way too far ahead of the future here. This is your general read for December 2021. It is a general reading, so I'll take what resonates, leave what doesn't behind. Energies are interchangeable, and timelines are shifting rapidly as we approach this 2022 Stargate portal. Okay, this is the final countdown. We're right there. Emotions are running high, okay? Uh, don't be surprised if a lot of changes are happening in your life, okay? This is universe moving the stagnant energies away from the collective. But because of that, I do advise everyone read the disclaimer in the description box below. Cross watchers, you may relate to this message. This message is also timeless. For a personal read, you can check the link tree link in the description box below. And with all that out of the way, let's get started with your reading, my beautiful Pisces. Hmm. I'm getting Oreos. I don't know why. Oreos is coming up. But that is so weird. How I said December 2022. I feel like I'm channeling. Ace of Swords, Eight of pentacles they're saying communications coming in i feel far back let's move in okay they're saying something here about communication coming in from someone that you used to work with oh the tower death the wheel nine of swords oh this i don't like this energy I have to be honest, and I'm not even being dramatic here. I don't like this energy that I'm saying. Six of cross watchers, you may relate to this. It looks to me like you're leaving. Oh, okay. You're leaving behind a, a Pisces, okay? Some of you may drop out of this reading. First, let me roll the dice, and then I'm going to talk about what I see here. Yeah, Justice, aka Libra, came out in the dice. Pisces, this is going to be for only a few of my Pisces. Now, for some of you, this may have already happened. Okay, I'm moving in the chair, so if you hear that noise. But for some of you, this may have already happened. I'm seeing here you walking away, okay? Pisces, I'm seeing here you walking away either from a relationship, a friend, a family member, or a job. Okay, there's something here. Ace of Swords and the Eight of Pentacles. It was like something that you were doing, right? Because Ace of Pentacles, it's like... Eight of Pentacles, excuse me. It's like... He's doing the same thing over and over again. But here we have the Ace of Swords... It's like you're, you know, I'm looking at this as your mind. It's like you're going through this awakening. And what happens is like the ending of this tower and death. 
something here happens. It's big, okay? It's on the horizon. I'm hearing life-changing. I'm hearing life-changing, okay? Death and the tower. That is... This is an intense energy. But not only that, you have the wheel and the nine of swords. So this is something that's not going to be easy for you to get uh, get through. You are definitely going to be up at night crying because of this, okay? For some of you, it could be a twin flame situation where the twin flame walked away or ghosted you or you had to let them go. For some of you, it could also be career. You're about to walk away from your career. Yeah, look. Ten of Wands at the bottom of this deck. Eight of Wands. They're saying fast approaching three of swords. Queen of Wands. Six of Cups. Yeah, I see here my Pisces. And Judgment. Oh my. Judgment, the Tower, and Death. Judgment, the Tower, and Death. And the wheel. This this is crazy. Oh, so for some of you, this is a twin flame situation that you are walking away from. Yeah. This person had a sex addiction issue. They had issues with sex. Or they had issues with drugs, even. Those of you that were in a twin flame, or you were... E not even a twin flame, but you were in a relationship... This was too much. That's why you have the Ten of Wands there. It was too much. Ace of Swords, you're having a realization about this person. They're not going to change. You can't save them. So you're walking away. Temperance, you're giving up. Ace of Wands, you know, you're, this fire inside of you is lighting up. Emperor, you're rising up into that energy where you're looking after yourself. <clears throat> yeah, I see here that you're leaving behind all toxicity. Pisces, like, this is it for you. You're leaving behind all the toxicity, okay? Third party, car mix, whatever, like, this This is it. You're making your preparations, and you're getting ready to walk away from all of it. This is fast approaching. I feel like December is the last month of this for you, okay? It is a general read, so take it how it resonates, but I really feel like this is the last month of this. And once January rolls in, you're starting new. You're starting new. Yeah, Queen of Wands, Six of Cups, okay? I feel like you had a past life connection. <coughs> They're trying to block my throat chakra so badly. <coughs> because they just don't want me to spread the truth and assist you. But they can't stop me. They will not stop me. Okay, but anyhow. You had a past life relationship with this person. However, they blew it. Okay, they blew it big time. And this person is going to get a lot of bad karma. Okay? You may have already left this person. If you know they're your twin flame, just know, don't be surprised if you hear they're in jail. They're homeless. They lost their job. Okay, just don't be surprised. Because this twin flame... You, you know, you're in that Queen of Wands energy, but look over here, that Ten of Wands with the King of Wands, this Twin Flame was too much to deal with. Now, it could be that, uh, you know, like I said, for some of you Pisces, it could be that it was work. It was work, it was becoming too much, it was becoming toxic, you knew you had to leave. For some of you, it could be that you were living with family, um, and there's going to be some sort of altercation here where your family wants to kick you out of the house. Yeah, there, Judgment and Three of Pentacles. There's no teamwork, okay? Whatever is going on here, whether this is you and your marriage or your relationship or living with your family or your job, okay? There's no teamwork. There's no collaboration, okay? Something in your life is, you know, it's going through a change here because we have judgment. And it's almost like this is part of your spiritual journey or this is like going to further you into your destiny, okay? Your spiritual destiny, your evolution, okay? Pisces, I just have to say, there's like a group of people watching over you, okay? They care deeply for you. And they're saying this is it. Like, everything in your life has prepared you for this moment, okay? This is where you're going to leave behind, right? Look, 
Seven of Wands and Six of Swords. You're not playing around anymore, okay? The games are over with people. Now, some of you are still, you know, dealing with these situations. It's coming to its close. Some of you have already walked away. But what I can say for certain Pisces, it's it's over, okay? The nightmare, whatever you were dealing with, it's completely over. Look here, the world. A woman, she's rising up. She's naked. She's not ashamed, okay? She's in her authenticity. Okay, my voice is shaking. This is so intense. Look, the hermit. You're going through, you might be alone. You know, for some of my Pisces, I have to say it. Some of you, some of you are like, you know what? I don't believe in that love story. I have to say it, as sad as it is, you know, it, it um, I almost feel like crying saying that, but some of you, some of my Pisces, you just, you just say, you know what? I give up on that love story. That's not for me. That's not you know you you're gonna ride out solo right ten of pentacles four of swords right it's like that idea of raising a happy family and falling in love and maybe having kids it's like you you know you see it like it almost looks like he's laying on a coffin right it's almost like you you just put that like you're done with that you you throw that away you're just done. You're done, is what I'm saying here for some of my Pisces. For some of you, you're going to go through an identity crisis, okay? Where you are going to travel the world, right? That could be why the world card is also showing up in your reading. Because you're looking to find yourself and find answers. Who you are and why you're here. Okay, so this is very heavy energy. Very heavy energy. Very intense yeah, you see, like, Nine of Swords, but you have the Five of Cups in reverse. Like, you are going to get over this, okay? And you are going to move forward with newfound creativity and positivity, okay? Knight of Wands, Eight of Wands, right? And the Ten of Pentacles, you're going to focus on yourself, is what I'm saying here. Focus on your own abundance, your own wealth. Focus on you, like, you're putting yourself, yourself up front, okay? You're doing the best for yourself, not focusing on anybody else, not concerning yourself with somebody else's. Yeah, look, you have the sun there, beautiful. A new beginning. A new beginning. The Hierophant, the Ace of Wands. Some of you might need somebody new, right? And it might be like a hookup. It might be like a... Or, you know, it might not be a hookup. Like, you might just date this person or go out for drinks and whatnot. I am seeing that here. Right, you're moving past, like, whatever situation, especially if you walked away from your twin flame, okay? Page of Swords, Knight of Pentacles, King of Pentacles, interesting, and Four of Pentacles. Yeah, for some of you, you could be walking away from a job. The energy is here, is very much here. For some of you, you could also be starting your own business, okay, moving towards that entrepreneurship role. Yeah, you see, it's the end, it's the end, like, you have judgment, you have the tower, you have death, you have the ten of swords here, you have the wheel, Th this is it, Pisces, like, you're, you're on borrowed time, your life is about to never be the same, but even though it's going to be very dramatic, all this chaos and destruction, what awaits you on the other side is nothing short from glorious, okay? It's going to be a very beautiful new beginning, and I feel like you're going to be more focused on your healing, your happiness, your health, okay? Especially if you're walking away from a marriage or a relationship, Pisces, you're just going to do you, okay? I see a lot of you, it's like bittersweet because I see a lot of you giving up on love. I do see that, and I very, and you know, I feel it. I feel the, um, the pain in your heart, right? But at the same time, you're also like, you know, it's like I'm kind of free. Like, I don't ever have to worry about that again. And <laughs> yeah, you see Knight of Wands, like you're just charging through. You're becoming independent. Look at this, the sun. Like, you're going to focus on you. And I feel like Knight of Wands, 
and the sun is such a beautiful energy. I get this um, momentum, like, you're gonna go be happy. Am I gonna start crying in this reading? For those of you walking away, it's like you're closing out a chapter. I wasn't serving you. Like you're gonna actually, oh, excuse me. I just feel this so deeply. You're actually gonna pursue your happiness first because I feel like before you were giving that to other people or you were just giving people your kindness and they took advantage of that. They took advantage of you, okay? And it was like you were always being left to bite the dust, so to speak. You were always left out in the back, always like treated as an outsider or talked down to or just mistreated when you've been nothing but nice and kind and genuine. And so it's like this re there's a lot of healing here, but it's almost like this reclaiming of your power, of your worth, taking that power back, taking back your worth and actually going into this new beautiful part of your life where you're free and it's almost like you didn't see it before but now you realize that you're free and you know it's like this woman is just standing with her arms outstretched and she's just in bliss she's in happiness and it's beautiful it's like you get to this place where you know what you're happy you don't have a care in the world, and you're like, why am I going to stress over that? Why am I going to worry about that? Why am I even going to focus on that? I'm going to focus on me, my happiness, my travels, okay, my work. Six of Cups. Yeah, for a lot of you, this is walking away from a twin flame. Some of you, even though, you know, you're walking away, it still hurts. Two of Swords. Seven of Cups, beautiful. Eight of Wands, yeah, you're going to have to make a lot of decisions very, very quickly. What I'm seeing here with this energy, Page of Swords again, a lot of research, you okay? Spirit saying do a lot of research, but Page of Wands. And then look, Ten of Pentacles at the bottom here. There are people here that may try to stop you, okay? Because I feel like this is their last ditch effort to keep you in this toxic cycle that is no longer serving you and you are going to prevail you're going to be victorious but it is um not going to be right there's that ten of swords again it's not going to be an easy ending okay it is going to be something that is difficult and seven of swords you are going to have to be cunning right knight of pentacles there's that hermit again five of pentacles but king of cups you'll you'll find peace okay you'll find your peace out there yeah and there's that knight of, nine of pentacles seven of pentacles nine of swords it is going to be uh, emotionally turbulent but nine of pentacles is somebody that's single focusing on their entrepreneurship their work so yeah that was a very emotional I will say I do apologize but let's see spirit what do you have for my Pisces and then we'll close out the reading hmm this was a very beautiful reading okay I do have to say very beautiful reading this has been happening a lot they're pointing to Aquarius okay they're pointing to this naked man pouring out the jar of water and this is all a part of your awakening this is all part of your process um in terms of ascension okay that's why this is happening that's why you're going through this very hard shift and that's why it may feel super super difficult it is part of this process of bringing you into this new chapter of your life where you're living 
in your power, where you're reclaiming your power, and you have all your self-worth, and you never need to uh, try to get that from something else or someone else, or you never need to validate yourself ever again, okay? You're going into this new life where you're going to have options, and you're going to say, well, maybe I could go over here, maybe I could travel over here, or maybe I can pursue an open relationship, or maybe I can just be uh, single forever, like, I see you having options, okay, maybe I can do this for business, it, it's like, you're gonna be so free, is what I see here, so that is your reading, my beautiful Pisces, it was very emotional, my heart is touched by your energy, but you're ready for this, you are, so I wish you the best of luck, and I wish you love and light, take care.